Welcome to Vikings Basketball with head coach Jace Coburn. The Vikings are coming home this week for the first time in 33 days. It's an exciting time for Vikings basketball as Big Sky Conference play is now underway. And coach, uh, we're almost to the midpoint of the season already. Even though Big Sky play has just begun, your team has a really nice record at 10 and 5. Maybe give us a quick analysis of what your team has produced this year and you know, maybe the strengths of your team that, that have led them to this point. No, yeah, we've played some exciting basketball, um, you know, up to this point. Been very proud of the guys and, and the effort that they've been able to put in. We've been a very connected team um, and we've had a lot of fun. So, um, you know, we're 10 and 5 right now and, and uh, 1 and 1 in conference. And we know that obviously conference plays what matter, what, what matters. And, um, you know, we're excited to, to get in the thick of that and uh, looking forward to the rest of the season. But um, we've had a lot of fun coaching these guys and, and they, they've played really hard. So, um, you know, I think we formed a very good identity and we'll continue that on. Well, your identity is coming up big in big moments. The Vikings have played a lot of close games already, seven and two in games decided by seven points or less, nine of those games, three of them on buzzer beaters. What is it about this team that allows them to produce in clutch moments? Yeah, it's all about our players. I mean, they, they're, uh, we got a bunch of guys that are, are clutch players and, and uh, you know, our thing is we're never gonna give up, um, you know, and, and the thing I've been most proud of is a lot of those buzzer beaters came after a response from the other team, uh, scoring a bucket late and we were able to convert on the other end um, instead of hanging our heads and, and being upset or, or whatever. Um, but we're going to be a team that's never going to give up. We're going to give it our all every single time we go out there and, and uh, really proud of the guys for being able to come up in those clutch moments for sure. All right, going into this week, the Vikings playing Idaho State Thursday night, 7 p.m., Weber State Saturday at 4 p.m., and Viking fans, all Saturday games this year are going to be at 4 p.m. That's the time change, all weeknight games at 7 p.m. Coach, uh, the Vikings already one and one in the Big Sky. You had two road games. Uh, what's going to be the key for you to have success in the Big Sky this season? Get yourself in a good position going into the Big Sky trip. Yeah, I think it's a lot of just about consistency, um, day in and day out. You know, we're going to practice hard. We're going to play hard, and and uh, we just need to maintain our identity the whole way throughout. And and the other thing is, is like we just have to keep getting better. Um, we've been talking about that all year long. Is that um, every day we have to come in with the mindset that we got to get better because we know that other teams are getting better too so um, we can't stay stagnant and we got to improve every single day and that's that's going to be the big challenge for us all right the vikings uh, nine returning players this year that's a big group more than most teams all across america which is great uh, but you've also brought in some really key guys we've seen ishmael habib come in and play a lot of minutes at the point guard play very well for you a guy who's played very well in recent games had the game winner at fresno state and two double doubles in a row. KJ Allen, talk about what he's added inside a, a bigger body inside, but but he does stuff all over the floor for you. Yeah, KJ's added a lot for us. Um, you know, he's experienced. Um, obviously, he's a very talented player. Um, he's an unselfish player. He's done a great job on the glass for us. Um, you know, he can score inside. He's been able to shoot the three. He can really pass it. He can put it on the floor. There's a lot of stuff he can really do, and he's very very talented. Uh, but probably the best thing about him is he's really fun to coach and he's a great person. So, um, you know, that's, he's, he's added that to our team and fit right in. Like you said, we got nine returning guys um, and he's been able to come in and fit right in with the rest of the guys. All right, and as we look at the Vikings play in recent weeks, they were on the road for five straight games. That's awfully tough. We talked about away from this arena for a month. You gotta be excited uh, to come home uh, in the last five games, the Vikings have gone two and three. The one element we've noticed, you talked about consistency. Your shooting has been a little inconsistent in those last five games. Do you figure coming home, familiar rims, does that make a big difference in that element of the yeah, game? Yeah, I mean, we, we enjoy being on the road. I mean, I think 33 days away from home court's a little much, but uh, we enjoy being on the road. We're excited to get back home in front of our fans, and, and uh, we know the things that need to stay consistent for us uh, to give us a chance to win every night, and that's what it's about, is that you just want a chance to win every single night, and those things need to continue on every single game, and, and the shooting will come and go, um, you know, but when it all clicks on one night, we'll be, we'll be really good. But um, you know, up until that point, like we just have to continue on with the things that we have been doing um, and, and chase the consistency with that. Uh, you, you talk about the shooting coming and going, but one thing you said to me earlier this year uh, is that you have to win in the margins, loose balls, the offensive rebounds, the hustle plays, 
uh, playing good defense. That's really what your team's built on, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, you know, we pride ourselves on being the first to the floor and multiple people on the floor every time there's a loose ball. I mean, that's, that's how we can kind of measure if we're really there that night or not. Um, you know, we pride ourselves of being a great team on the glass and, and playing defense and, and running the floor and, and doing all the little things. Um, because if you do all the little things, it gives you a chance to win every single night. And, uh, no matter if you're on the road or if you're at home or wherever you're at, um, you know, it gives you a chance to win every single night if you can win in the margins. And then, you know, if you shoot the ball well that night, then you got a really good chance to win. So um, those things just need to stay consistent for us and, and who we are as a team and, and uh, play with passion and spirit and heart and, and uh, give it everything we got every single night. All right, let's take a look at this week's games really quickly. Thursday, Idaho State. Saturday, Weber State. Uh, those two teams have a common theme. They have a big guy who's really, really talented. Idaho State, Braden Parker, he's a post, a big man who's very effective inside, but he's added uh, the element. He's stepped out, he's shooting 40% from three-point range. Talk about the challenge of defending a guy like that. He's their leading scorer and uh, leads the big sky in shooting as well. Yeah, Brayton's a really talented player. Um, you know, from my interactions with him over the last couple years, he seems to be a, a great person too. Um, so, you know, I'm happy for him that he's having a great year. We know he's a great player. Um, you know, and there's going to be things that we're going to need to do to try and stop him. Um, you know, so, uh, but all the credit to him for having a great year so far. Hopefully he doesn't have that great of a night on Thursday night, but, um, you know, it's a challenge for us and, and uh, we need to be able to step up and meet the challenge. Um, you know, and Idaho State's a very talented team. Coach Loney does a great job and they're always going to be disciplined and, and uh, you know, play their style and it, it should be a fun night. And the Bengals, uh, they come in, they have eight returning players. I took a look at that roster. So they have some continuity on their team as well. The good news uh, for the Vikings, they swept the season series with them last year. You've won six in a row against Idaho State. So you've got a good trend going there. Uh, as we look ahead now to Weber State, let's talk about uh, Dylan Jones. He's a guy that's player of the year kind of a guy. He's leading the big sky in scoring, rebounding, and assists. That's a pretty good triple threat. Yeah, same type of deal. Obviously, we know he's had a great career um, you know, at Weber State and has a lot of experience and is a very talented player. And like you just said, he can do a lot of different things. Um, but our guys need to be ready to step up for that challenge. Um, you know, when you get a great player coming in here and, and he's got great teammates too that, that all play their part and they've been playing really well. So, um, you know, for our team, it's, we're going to have to step up and meet the challenge. Um, you know, and we know they're a good team and, and they're one of the favorites to win the league and, and uh, you know, but at the end of the day, like we need to play well, um, you know, I mean, to, to beat a really good team, you got to play well. And so we know we're going to know that, you know, on Saturday that we got to play well and to, to beat a really good team. All right. And uh, Dylan Jones, he's kind of a point forward type, 6'7", 235. I talked about Braden Parker, 6'8", 250. Some big guys getting some things done. We saw that last year uh, with some players in our league. And I know that's something you kind of addressed in the off season, uh, dealing with some of those bigger, more physical players in the league. How, how do you feel like your team is, has done in that department this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're playing a different style this year than we have in the past. Um, you know, I mean, we're always gonna do what's best for that current team um, and play to our strengths on that, on that particular year. Um, you know, so, you know, we need to play to our strengths. You know, I, I think we've been better defensively so far this year, um, you know, and, and we have bigger bodies this year, um, you know, to be able to try and match up with some of those guys. So, you know, we, we knew that going into the off season that there were some things we needed to shore up and, and I feel like we did. And, um, but now it will be the test to see if we actually did that. So, um, you know, but we're excited to get out there on four and, and uh, give it all we got. All right, the Vikings at home this week. They take on Idaho State Thursday, 7 o'clock. The Bengals come in with a 5-10 and 10 record. Then on Saturday, Weber State comes in. They are 11-4, and 4, best record in the big sky right now. That is a 4 p.m. game. The Vikings, 10-5 and 5 on the season going into this, this week's play. 4-0 and 0 right here on this court. Come on out and see the Vikings. Two games this week, six of the next eight at home. Follow the Vikings, and for all your information on Vikings basketball, go to GoVikes.com.